Hey Bubbles and welcome back to another hot books review. If you guys watched my previous video, you guys saw that my TBR for the fall this year was pretty big. So far I actually only got through four of them. I don't know how many more I'm going to be able to read this fall, but the ones that I have read so far have been so fun and I'm very excited to share with you guys what I have been reading. But before we get to the book of the day, we need to make our hot drink. As you can see, I'm still very much in my autumnal phase and I'm going to soak it up as much as I can before I change out all of my decor in the house. This is an apple cider tea. I actually put in apple chunks as well. I went to the apple orchard this season. I had a couple of apples still laying around. In my pumpkin mug, isn't this so cute? I got this at Michael's. In here, I have some more apple chunks as well as some honey. I love the smell of this apple cider tea. We are going to be talking about a very, very big TikTok book that blew up this fall, and it is called The Pumpkin Spice Cafe. Everything about this book is screaming autumnal, it's screaming fall, it's screaming cozy small town. I actually haven't seen that many reviews on this. Because of that, I'm actually really excited to give you guys a real review on this book, so let's jump right into it. Starting off with the cover design, what can I say guys, it's already a 5 out of 5. Everything about it is so aesthetically pleasing to look at, truly fits the fall vibe. I fell in love with the cover and I know so many of you guys have as well. I just love the details on it. Like I don't know if you can tell by the light but the gold leaf shimmer on the side as well on this side is just so gorgeous. Target really needs to stop this. I'm scared to take it off so if you guys have any tips and tricks on how to get this off without ruining the book itself uh, please let me know. So the story takes place in a very small town called Dream Harbor and the town's best coffee and only cafe is reopening with a new owner named Jeannie. The Pumpkin Spice Cafe that was previously owned by Jeannie's aunt was the perfect opportunity for her to start a new life and a new place to get away from her old job and her old life. A local farmer named Logan who has grown up in the small town avoids being talked to or talked about of any gossip or drama that Dream Harbor has to offer. But with this new girl in town, his quiet and perfectly routine life is about to be flipped upside down. I'm trying something new and while I was doing synopsis, you guys saw that I was putting up some aesthetic photos. If you're a visual person like me, I love to see Pinterest boards. I love to see mood boards and I personally make Pinterest boards as well for each book that I read. I want to share with you guys what my vision, my aesthetic of Dream Harbor and the Pumpkin Spice Cafe was. Obviously these are not pictures that I've taken but they're from Google and Pinterest and any other source that I found. Also on this side we have a trope list going. I don't know about you guys but before I start any book I need to know what kind of tropes are involved. I need to know the main character's dynamic. Those are things that are very important to me. So if it is for you as well, I'm putting this to the side. The Pumpkin Spice Cafe, it's a very cute book. Pretty wholesome, so very small town vibes. But I will say, it's not great writing. The storyline itself is nothing special. The most cliche romance book that you can imagine is what this book is. If you're not into the whole attraction at first sight, love at first sight, I open the door and there stands the most handsomest man I've, I've ever seen. When the door was opened, there I saw the most beautiful beautiful woman that I've ever seen. If that's not your type, don't read it. I don't read that many romance books in general. When I picked this up, yes it's very cliche and the storyline is so basic, but because I don't read it as much, every once in a while I really don't mind picking it up. If you're looking for that cozy small town vibe with not much of a storyline, it's just really fun, silly, wholesome, and you really want just like that autumnal feel Then this book does give. It truly is fall in a book. So taking everything into consideration, I'm not the biggest fan of the storyline itself, but the world builds, the autumnalness of it all, the fun, coziness definitely deserves some extra points, so for that I'm gonna give it a 3. Next on the list is Tears. No, I did not cry in this. Nothing about this book was sad. For the love, the romance section gets a 5 out of 5. Like I mentioned in the plot, this whole thing is literally just about love. It is a spicy romance and it says that in the back, but trust, it's really not as spicy as you think it is. Following that up with the characters, which I'll be giving a 4 out of 5. Honestly, for a small, small, small town, you would think there'll be annoying neighbors. If you watch Gilmore Girls, it gives that type of small town where everyone knows your business, 
but it's not to the point where everyone collectively hates that person down the street. Not like that at all. All of the neighbors are so friendly. They're so supportive of each other. The main character's dynamic of Sunshine and Grumpy is very cute to very wholesome. It feels like a lot of romance books though. The characters do end up being a Sunshine to Grumpy and always the guy is the Grumpy and always the girl's the Sunshine. So I'm saying, very cliche, but again, it's pretty cute. Which leads us to our final category, which is the overall rating. If I remember correctly, I think on Goodreads I gave it a 7.5. Definitely the cover is giving more than the story itself. If you agree with me, let me know down below. But every once in a while, I get that urge where I'm just like, I just want to read something so cringy, like so unrealistic, but so cringy and so cute. That is what this is. That's what this gave me at least. Not the most perfectly written book out there, but it is a good time. So that was it for my review of The Pumpkin Spice Cafe by Lori Gilmore. I think the little reviews that I did see on this book, people were highly disappointed. So that's not surprising at all. It's definitely more aesthetic to look at though. I'll give it that. So that was it for this video. Thank you guys so much for watching. Make sure to like and subscribe and leave a comment down below. I'll make sure to read every single one of them and I'll see you guys next time with Sarah. Bye! Mm -hmm.